Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to show you how to make a chutney which is very easy and simple for uh, idli and dosa. At the same time it's very tasty. For people who are staying away from uh, family, cooking becomes very difficult. Trust me, cooking is not that difficult and even I am one of a person who stays away from my family for work. I do cook myself on a daily basis so I thought I will upload these videos in this channel in a practical way so that it might help many people like me so that is the motive behind uploading these uh, videos and uh, in Madurai if you ask me we guys make a lot of uh, uh, varieties of chutney and this is one of a kind it is a Bengal gram chutney which we call it as Kadala Parapu chutney in Tamil it is very tasty and uh, come let's quickly go ahead and start the recipe thank you now let's see what are the requirements half coconut which i have cut into pieces 15 curry leaves and four small garlic cloves if you see the cloves are very small if it is slightly big two is enough and eight green chilies which i have slit into two halves for this chutney if you are adding more chilies it will be very tasty so it is up to you whether if you want to add more or less and one tomato is enough and uh, here dal I have taken uh, 100 grams and for tadka we will see later so first we have to pan fry the dal for that we just have to take the empty kadai we don't need to add any oil and all so just fry the dal we don't need to fry too much just a mi 2 minutes is enough so that it will be slightly turning brown so it's done and now let's turn it to a plate I mean transfer it to a plate so that it gets cooled down now in a kadai let's add 3 tablespoons of oil the oil got heated up and now the garlic chilies curry leaves and the coconut let's give a minute for the coconut to slightly get fried after that now let's add the tomato and the dal So let's not fry too much let's give a minute over here and let's turn off the stove let's give some time so that it gets cooled down as we have to grind this in a mixi so now we have transferred it to a mixi as it got cooled down and now let's add salt it's up to you whether if you want to add rock salt or the normal salt as per your need you can add the salt and now we have grinded it so let's see now how we are going to do the tadka so for tadka we have to use half tablespoon or uh, one teaspoon of oil a small amount is enough and mustard and onion finely chopped if you have a small onion that's well and good if not big onions also will do and four to five curry leaves and now let's add the chutney and water so the water should have this consistency you have to add water like that and for uh, those side has to be heated up so that it will be very tasty it's just it has to heat it up it's not like it has to be completely boiled if it is boiled the taste will become slightly numb which we just really don't want to do that and uh, you have to wait till it turns you know some kind of white froth like substance will form on the top once that is done you can switch off the stove and one more point here I have to add that is uh, if you are planning to have this chutney with idli you don't need to heat the chutney 
it is just you have to add water to the chutney and do the tadka and put the tadka over the chutney and you can have without heating itself only for dosa you have to heat it up so that it will be very tasty and now you can see the white color froth like substance have formed over the top and now we can turn off the stove that's it and now the dosa is ready and this dosa and uh, this chutney is a very good combination and people like it a lot generally children love this chutney a lot it's very yummy that's it it's done